the land of Ghana will favor you. You will not lack hope. Amen. 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 Thank God. I don't even know what to say to you, but thank you. Because some people will just switch off their phone. Thank and, you. And Two phones. Two expensive phones. You know, ah, you brought it back. You will never because laugh. You want your good name to be named for you. God, God bless, bless you. you. Uh, seen on the internet what's up everyone welcome back to another video but i have to do this video now because this is happening for real and it is trending on facebook i got this video directly from anita joseph a nigerian youtube i almost say youtuber a nollywood actress a nigerian nollywood actress is shocked by what a taxi man did for her in ghana as we speak anita joseph is currently in ghana and she forgot her two mobile phones yeah anita took a taxi upon arriving her destination she left her phones in the taxi i mean she forgot her phones in the taxi not one but two and they are not cheap phones you know how our artist behaves a nigerian especially a popular one go all out to get expensive item because you don't do that is a problem so anita is using powerful mobile phones and anita left her phones and the guy drove away but hours later they reconnected and the guy handed the phones to anita and this is why anita is praying for this guy praying anita have turned pastor anyway lately she and her husband been saying they are pastors and all that they do joke a lot i don't know if it's they are serious or not but this kind of prayer anita have been praying from her heart her soul and praising this guy so much in this video and i think before we proceed further i would like you guys to take a look at the video and i will be back do well to like the video let's go say thank you my sister forgot her two phones and this man turned back and came back to lead to her Thank you. Okay, may God I'll bless give you Nigerian money. No may God bless you. Send it. I have a lot of Nigerian Before money. you speak, God has done your request. I don't know what your prayer request is. But the Lord will bless you. Amen. And every desire of your heart. Amen. The land of Ghana will favor you. You will not lack hope. Amen. 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 Thank God. Thank you. I don't even know what to say to you, but thank you. Because some people will just switch off their phone. Thank and, you. And Two phones. Two expensive phones. You know, ah, you brought it back. You will never because laugh. You want your good name to be made for you. Yes. God, God bless, bless you. you. Amen. The Lord bless you. Bless you. Whatever you look for, you will not, you will not even ask. Amen. People, God will raise people for you. Amen. From this car, you buy that car. Amen. God will bless you. I don't want your heart desire is, but the Lord will fulfill everything Amen. that concerns you. Amen. In Jesus' name. And I prophesy Amen. unto you before September, you shall be someone that people will gather for Amen. and say, Look Amen. at what the Lord has done. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Ah, God bless you. All right, I'll send In your Jesus number, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As for me, I am not surprised that this guy returned the phone. I'm not surprised that you return the phone because many of the times in Ghana, like 90% of the time or 98% of the time in Ghana, you will find someone calls you back to come pick up your property that you have abandoned. The remaining percentage, if you ever lose a mobile phone, many of the times is not as a result of forgetting it somewhere. It's definitely as a result of having it snatched by some guys who are on drugs. And there are selected places, especially in Accra here, that are dangerous and notorious for that. I personally have lost more than one mobile phone in Ghana. But it was not a case of forgetting it. It was a case of having it snatched forcefully from me. So when it comes to forgetting anything in Ghana, I mean, the possibility of getting it back is like 95% high and i'm super proud of this guy because he did not disappoint okay he called anita met and he handed the phone back to anita and here i am like okay this is nothing new in ghana but i'm very happy that this guy choose a good name for his beloved country than material thing mm, how much is he gonna sell the phone for they're gonna exchange the phones for how much and he's gonna use that money to buy what exactly and do what with it but the funny part for me is this part i would like you guys to see it and i'll be back the part where anita gave this guy 
naira and the way the guy collect the money you guys keep watching i'll be back let's see that part the land of ghana will favor you you will not lack home amen you amen thank god i don't even know what to say to you but thank you because some people just switch up their phone thank and, you and two and phones two expensive phones you know ah. you brought it back you will never laugh you want your good name to be named for you yes god, god bless, bless you, you. Amen. Oh. <laughs> Is the way he collected the money for me. He collected the money like this, like with two hands. Like it is saying don't arrive. Hey, my brother and Pacho, he go surprise you say when you change that money, you know reach 50 city. Mm -mm, you know reach 50 city. And here I am wondering why would Anita give this guy Nigeria money? She said, I have a lot of Nigerian money with me. I will give you Nigerian money. Why? Why is he gonna change it anyway but that money he can't change it who is gonna collect naira's naira from him why will anita joseph give this guy nigeria money bro she have done you dirty if i was there i would tell this guy bro do not accept the money because that money gonna buy you nothing and you're not gonna get a place to change it come on anita should have just been nice enough by giving this guy 20 us dollars if you won't do foreign for Ghana, at least this guy go fit change him. Like he gave, she gave this guy. I think that's like. Um, wait, let's take a look at it again. I'll be back. Amen. Amen. The land of Ghana will favor you. You will not lack home. Amen. That money, from the look of things, that's like five thousand era, and that. Ah, Anita, why, 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 why? Anyways, the guy was not expecting anything from Anita whatsoever. What he did, he did it for. He did it for God's sake. He did it for the right sake. He did it for the sake of right thing to do. That is how to do it. And now you see what I'm talking about. When you decide to put away material things, you decide to not be selfish and greedy. You decide to come clean with your name you decide to do the right thing it is not about you alone it is about your country because this is a foreign woman a very influential one in nigeria in terms of social media because she is an actress and she has good amount of following on social media if this had gone bad anita is going to come out and spill how Ghanaians did her death but now i'm glad now all thanks to this guy for saving the day because i know anita just very well sister auntie go surely tweet about it but now she's saying good things about like she's praying for the guy this is what i'm talking about when you do good it's not just for one person the international bodies are taking note this is what i'm talking about if you come from a country where people are concerned about doing the right thing you will have less work to do for those who usually say hey but you guys are always talking uh, down on your people is because what our people are doing is affecting us do you believe that just a few days few days ago i was here trying to edit my videos when i got a message from whatsapp one of my taxi driver he's the one if i want to take my kids out of the house because most of the times we go with a wheelchair so getting a, a stranger outside to come take me and the girls out is always a struggle so when i want to go to anywhere and i want to get all my kids going i usually call him to come get us so the last time he took us he, it was normal like he kept on praying for me for the way i'm taking care of my kids and he kept on advising me to continue so the next time he called that he's traveling to kumasi his hometown and then the next thing he did two days ago is him sending me a picture that he has traveled abroad how did he go bro because now 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 how did everything happen he said okay he has been on it but he didn't want to tell me until the whole thing clicked and he didn't have any issues all that this young man needed to have was his valid Ghanaian passport and all the necessary documents that he needed to move and he got moving just like that this is a taxi man bright is now abroad just like this and why is it so easy for Ghanaians? Good behavior. People are seeing these videos right now on the internet. 
embassies are seeing them so many people are seeing this video so many nationals are seeing this video so many countries so many continents are seeing these videos do you see now this is why it's easy for a Ghanaian to move abroad and it makes it look like okay yeah Ghanaians don't criticize their people because they must protect their persons it's not like that because when your people are doing the right thing you will have less work to do there will be nothing to criticize everybody is trying their best Ghana is not perfect neither am I saying am I expecting perfection but at least to some extent even when someone wants to cheat you they do it with so much fear if you even say hey, if you just do a Ghanaian like this hey, I know <laughs> you confess they don't have they don't get mind just tell a Ghanaian man you want to call police and he's at fault see and begin the shake this is what I'm talking about selflessness that will lead everybody to be happy selflessness that will lead everybody to be happy with everybody and everywhere you will go because now just look at this this thing happens and so many Ghanaians were not there remember that Anita is a superstar and there's tendency that when she's traveling for business trips or whatever trip she don't usually announce it until she goes and come back so now no one is aware that Anita Joseph is in Ghana and there were no lots of Ghanaians around there to see but this guy on his own find it fit to do what is right so now well, what are you you going to criticize your people for based on what that they did what now when some of us are doing this is paranoid because when others are doing it is affecting me now just the discipline from one man every Ghanaian is looking good right now on Facebook oh yeah the comment section wow these people do they're too nice ah these people nice and then good oh wow they know they do this won't you be proud as a Ghanaian you will be proud but some of us can't relate because eh you forgot they didn't rob you this one say you forget now you say no not, not be their fault now the person won't even feel guilty for keeping that property because then we say now you for muguna i be a collector for your hand and it's true they didn't rob you and the person want to use that as a as an opportunity you know the person just want to feel less guilty they will say i i no rob him now now if now you go fall hand can't leave him you know what a method when go won't take bless me for another person property all you have to do is to keep doing it for those of us that are on this matter of criticizing our citizens is because yes i can beat my chest to say that i am trying if others are like me my country won't have a problem we won't have a problem traveling abroad because when i am living in other people's country i live there respectfully i abide by the rules i don't make trouble even in my own country i don't make trouble you do make me vest i go police for your head to call police for you seriously so you guys see sometimes you turn it down when you are criticizing us that do this style of videos when we are condemning the acts of our people because yeah there have been two cases of nigerians that picked up funds at the airport and returned them right there's a way we celebrate because it's a it's a please like it's a shock it's a shock shock shocking thing because it's not common you see that you take it so this is what i'm talking about as africans we have to make it easy for us make it easy for your brethren yeah but i'm super proud of this Ghanaian man because he could have gone with it could have taken this phone and go nothing will happen you will go and sell it carelessly and recently i saw a video if i can find it i'll play it here they say we should not be exposing our people no are we because whatever my people are doing is affecting me and i am sick and i'm very tired i am sick and tired of the attitude of some people because when they do this thing it affects everybody now we are talking about people kidnapping phones in lagos then go snatch phone for your hand some of these phones are not as big as the ones that the taxi man had that he could have just taken and just go but people will stay and snatch it in lagos and tell them they will not even run away just tell you hey, if you want this phone bring money and then the owners of the phone pays for ransom to collect their phones and then when i sit down here and talk about it people say hey don't talk you do they criticize your people what am i going to do i cannot rent a house in ghana i can't move out of here getting a house in ghana for me is not that easy because when they are judging people they won't say you are different they judge us together they will say oh you nigerians are like this so i will nobody will say oh you are different eh, <laughs> you are different they will judge me judge everybody together like all of you nigerians here like that 
you see this topic we, it's not gonna end the ones that are sitting down and applauding these people saying eh, condemn me or they're trying to make everybody look like we don't know what we are doing eh they are desperate for the views i'm a very talented person especially with this internet creativity is my thing like i enjoy it and because i love to spend time alone i could come up with an idea and make a video i'm not like i'm not that person that will go to any extent to get views but these conversations need to be had. We need to talk. Now, this guy is doing it freely and just going on and just going on. Nobody is talking about it. Everybody is cool. That goodness of this guy is rubbing on every Ghanaian, both home and abroad. People will say, yes, ah, those people, they are nice. But I can't relate because I get slaughtered before I get there. Other people will mess everything up for me. And if I say something, people will say, you like to put your people down. What is putting down? I am the victim here. They are the one putting me down. I cannot rent an apartment. In Ghana, if you see 50 houses that you like, in Accra to be precise, if you see 50 houses that you like, two are the only ones that accept Nigerians. One out of those two is going to be too expensive for me. And the other one that is within my budget is definitely not looking nice. I won't like it and I will be stranded. So anyone that gives me a chance to live in there, I'll just stay there. Even with the condition, I'll just take it. I've not had water here for months i've not had water here for months and guess who is responsible because people refuse to pay their bills refuse to pay bill like people that have been here from they have refused to pay their bill and because of that the water company has disconnected us so when i can afford it i'll order for water if i cannot i'll stay like that and right now there is water crisis because there is no way to preserve water no way to reserve water because we don't have access to water the the water has been disconnected i keep suffering but seriously this guy has done it again and i think the Ghanaian media Media has to take this guy in and show him more love because if he has done otherwise that image will be on that that bad things will, it will rub on everybody this guy have done the country good and i am excited for that i am i have low self-esteem as a nigerian because when i walk on the road and then uh, people want to do business with me and then discover once i tell them oh i'm lillian i'm a nigerian they withdraw because they believe i'm going to steal I have not stolen before. I have not stolen before. 